So welcome everybody. Uh, let's start talking about the keys to simplify uh, your entrepreneurship in Estonia. Uh, as you already know, we are Companio, and today uh, Ignacio will join us and Jonathan. Ignacio is the CEO at Companio and also an employee of the Residency Program of Estonia. Uh, Jonathan is our uh, customer support manager and I am the COO of Companio and also employee of the Residency Program of Estonia. Uh, what is Companio? Uh, Companion started uh, as a way of solving uh, a bunch of issues we had, uh, we faced when starting a company 10 years ago in Spain. Uh, it was quite difficult. It took us uh, three months, a lot of red tape, and also we faced a lot of problems when managing that company uh, uh, abroad from other countries. And finally, when our company was growing, hiring and paying employees uh, internationally was also a struggle. So our platform was created to solve all those issues. Uh, Companio eliminates all red tape, all the goals when incorporating your business when doing the accounting monthly, uh, compliance, and also when managing, managing payroll and employees worldwide. So our platform allows, allows you to do that in a very quite uh, simple and efficient way. So basically uh, it's about simplifying your business management and growing internationally. So uh, since then, since Companio was started, we have assisted in creating more than 2,000 companies in Estonia. Uh, currently, our platform processes over 100,000 bank transactions or invoices per month. And about our team, uh, we are a group of 50 multicultural and remote team working from seven countries including Estonia, Tallinn, where our office is located. So let's start talking about six uh, quite important keys that every entrepreneur should know before starting, starting a business with us, a uh, business in Estonia with Companio. So let's start with not motivation. Ignacio, welcome. And what can you tell us about motivation when starting a business. Uh, thank you, Miguel, and hello, everybody. I'm very excited to be here today uh, to let you know more about Companio. So, uh, well, as Miguel mentioned, we started this uh, business as a solution for ourselves. Uh, we really had this dream of starting a business. Uh, we had our businesses running actually in Spain, but it was so difficult to keep up with the, the bureaucracy, all the, all the red tape, the Spanish were, it's very the Spanish um, business system is very difficult, uh, especially for new um, entrepreneurs or people who are doing their activities online and they just want to you know invest their customers um, and do business and very simply like we do banking now with uh, fintech uh, banks or we watch Netflix when we want to see a series, right? Uh, so or perfect that's how we build Companio. And that's why our perfect customer or the people who are uh, the best fit for Companio are those people who precisely have this same, uh, the same mindset. They have a dream, they have a business in mind, they want to do something, they want to become entrepreneurs, they want to build, uh, maybe build a startup or they want to do something, uh, maybe something innovative, something that is not well understood in their own countries something that involves new technologies, new ways of thinking. Maybe it's something that is not limited to their uh, own countries, but it's global. And you want to really start in the best possible way if you have a global remote business. So this is the people who can benefit most from our services. Our services are not very tailored or maybe it's not the best fit for you if your only motivation is 
maybe um, evading taxes or saving taxes or having like a optimization, a tax optimization structure. Estonia is probably not the solution, but Companio is definitely not the best solution for you. Uh, of course, uh, setup in uh, with Companio is super uh, efficient in terms of uh, taxes and, and et cetera, deductible expenses and all that stuff. It's very, very cool and allows your business to really grow. But your main motivation is probably uh, doing something great, starting small, or big, but doing something great, doing it online without bureaucracy and without the limitations of borders or 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 physical limitations. Thank you, Ignacio. Uh, so, okay, uh, I got the motivation. So now I need to start a business. What about the business activity, which is the key number two? That's a very good point. So. Uh, Usually, there are three conditions that um, you must fulfill to be a good fit for Companion. Uh, one of them is that the activity of your business is online or is digital, or you can do it with just your, your laptop. Uh, another one, which is completely related to that, is that your business does not have a permanent establishment somewhere else or in, in a country. So it's like, Imagine you have you are, you have a restaurant in mind and you have, want to have this restaurant in Portugal and have employees in Portugal like the cook and the waiters and whatnot. Uh, Estonia is probably not the best uh, fit for you, but you have like you are a consultant, you are a developer, you have a small startup that is growing and you want to offer a, uh, an online service or a platform or something like that, or you are a developer or you really have this business in which you can move to other countries and you move regularly to other countries to do stuff. And all you need to do is just to take your laptop with you and you are done and you're set. Then uh, Estonia is, uh, company is, is a good fit for you. And I will ask, I, I will add that um, it's a company does not support um, holding structures. So we, re we kind of uh, requirement is that all the members of the company are individuals uh, who have the e-residency uh, card. So it's like individual people with the residency card, no holding structures, and a digital activity that is non-location specific or is location independent. Uh, understood. Thank you, Ignacio. So I got the motivation. I got the right activity for my business. So now let's get started. Uh, the first step, of course, is incorporating my business with uh, Companion. How do I do that? Uh, how simple is that? Yeah, that's the, well, as you mentioned, the one of the main motivations when we started uh, Companion is uh, we, we came from this experience in Spain of doing our, uh, our <laughs> really, it was really difficult to set up a business established the business. It was a lot of bureaucracy. It was very difficult to understand. It took us a long time and and it, it was like a lot of, you know, uh, steps and, and a lot of issues throughout the journey. So what we really wanted to do is to build something that was super fast and efficient that you can do online. Actually, with company, you can, uh, you can establish your business completely online. Our average is one week to establish the business, but we have had businesses establishing one day, including the bank account. So that was super fast. So it depends on how fast you are, uh, but it can be really fast. And also we, we've seen some people trying to charge very crazy amounts of money for establishing your business, like 2000 euros or more. And that's crazy. We uh, are committed to have fair prices. So we are we charge 265 uh, euros uh, plus VAT, which is the state fee of is, is the what really will cost you to do it yourself manually. Uh, 265 euros is the state fee for registering a company in Estonia, and uh, we charge 50 euros extra per extra member uh, added to the company apart from the first one. And, and this includes everything. I want to emphasize this because some people like charge for every little bit. Uh, so it includes everything. It includes the company establishment, articles of association. If you need a VAT number, we will get you one uh, included. 
uh, if you need to register in the OSS scheme, you offer digital downloads, digital videos, digital services, we can register you in the OSS system. And of course, the support within the, the bank account, which is important, and we will talk about it uh, later. Thank you, Ignacio. So basically, if uh, I open a one member company, company will register that company for free for me because those 265 euros are the stay fee. Uh, those are not uh, a company fee, but the stay fee, right? Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, so let's move to the uh, key number four, which is actually the last step of the process of activating your company, opening a bank account. Uh, what about that, Ignacio? Well, exactly. Once the company is established, you need a, a bank account. Unlike a freelancer setup where you can use your own personal accounts for your business, uh, having a, a company is completely different. Uh, and I sometimes kind of uh, 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 put this um, kind of example of uh, having a company compared to being a freelancer is like having a Ferrari compared to uh, having a bike, right? Uh, you can do a lot more <laughs> with the Ferrari that you can do with the bike or you can get faster to, to places, right? So the idea is that uh, the, the company allows you to do much more, but you really need to have like a separation between your corporate funds and your personal funds. So that's why in Companio, we wanted to make it easy for you also to have these corporate bank accounts. And we connect to open banking to offer you literally thousands of, of banks where you can choose from. Every bank in the European Union, in the EEA area, we support it and you can connect to it. Uh, but we will not recommend you to open uh, the bank account for your company in your country or even in Estonia, because nowadays there are many, many very good fintech solutions out there that are so easy to open an account there and so easy to operate with, like Revolut Business, there is uh, Wise, there are many other, uh, and if you need a payment gateway, you have Stripe. So of course, we really want to give the flexibility to our customers to really choose the bank that they, they, feel, they feel comfortable with, but we will encourage you to check the, the easy solutions like Wise, Revolut Business, and Stripe, probably. Thank you, Ignacio. And remember, with some of these banking solutions, uh, uh, for, for some of those banking solutions, we collaborate and we can offer you a free consultancy session with, uh, with one member of, one employee of uh, that bank. So that person will help you uh, to open uh, a bank, a corporate bank account for your company uh, in no time. So, okay, I got the company, I got my corporate bank account. So, what's next? Uh, so, working uh, monthly with my company, invoicing my customers, etc. So, the key number five uh, is quite quite important, which is keeping your business up to date. How do I do that, uh, Ignacio? Well, managing a business is probably a complex thing. We wanted to do it easy uh, for entrepreneurs. So uh, basically what we ask our customers to do is uh, two things, to connect their bank accounts. When you once you open your bank account, you connect it in our platform using open banking. And then every month you upload your invoices uh, for the previous month. So up to the fifth of the month, we ask you to upload all the invoices of the previous month. Why? For two reasons. First is because the accounting in Estonia is done uh, monthly. So we need, we have from the 5th to the 20th to do all your reports, the TSD, the, which are taxes, the VAT report and all that stuff. So if you upload your invoices up to the 5th of the month and your bank account is connected, we can uh, ensure a smooth accounting process and that you will get your reports submitted in time. And that's the first reason. The second reason, which is uh, maybe better, is that if you give us uh, uh, your information in time, so we have everything up to the fifth of the month, uh, we can give you a very nice uh, monthly financial snapshot of how your company is doing. If you have connected your banks, we can tell you how many expenses you had last financial period, how many 
earnings and we can give you like a very good overview of the business. And this is done monthly, right? So this is the kind of the accounting routine uh, monthly. Uh, but uh, there are some things that are of this uh, flow. One of them is the OSS report. This is included for free, the OSS report, and we submit it every quarter. So um, that's included. And annually, there is a, a, a report, which is called the annual report, and which can be uh, submitted for a fee. And this is charged separately for a small fee. And basically, the annual report is like a summary of all the activities of the previous year. If your company has been active for more than six months the previous year, you need to submit this annual report and we prepare it and submit it for you through our platform. We have a, an automated platform for submitting your annual report, which is uh, getting better and better every year. Oh, well, and of course, the, the, I forgot to mention the final, after the accounting has been submitted and everything is uh, in order, we is our, when we charge you for the services. So, and important to mention, uh, also, no, uh, you can go to the next slide. Um, that we are not, a, we don't intend to be, or we don't want to be an accounting firm. We are a, an IT platform or a business as a service platform, as we want to mention it. Even if we have people uh, behind the scenes doing the accounting and reviewing the accounting, um, we are really investing in, in IT uh, and artificial intelligence to make your lives easy and make the lives of our team easy too. So we have some very cool features in our platform. One of them is accounting, the accounting guardian. Accounting guardian is basically like, uh, like your particular uh, private detective uh, that makes sure that everything is in order. So if the bank account gets disconnected, it will let you know, so you can connect it very early on. Or if you upload an invoice that is not correct, imagine you go to Starbucks and you get a chai latte or something, and then you try to uh, add the receipt of the Starbucks chai latte as a business expense. And probably the accounting guardian will tell you, I'm sorry, but this is a, a expense for a personal, you know, <laughs> going to Starbucks to have a drink. So you cannot, uh, you cannot pass that as a, as a, a business expense, right? Uh, Related to that, we have this automated bank reconciliation uh, process in which our algorithm automatically uh, detects and matches the invoices with the bank movements. So if you connect your bank and you upload all your movements, uh, all your invoices, sorry, the, the algorithm will detect them and match them together. So making it much more easy for you to keep uh, an eye and, and know your expenses, what you're spending money on, what are your uh, sales, etc. But also it will help our accountants to, to do the accounting. And of course, there are many, many other things, including the platform, including business travel uh, invoicing, where you can add your business travels and we will calculate the, um, the expenses. If you have daily allowance for the trip, et cetera. And things like the virtual office, which is also included for free. I like to mention this. Um, in the, our virtual office gives you a legal address in Estonia and a person of contact there, in case some packages arrive for, uh, to your company, we will uh, forward them to your address for a ship, we charge the shipping costs. And if letters arrive to that address, we can scan them and make them available to you in the platform too. So there's a lot more than just accounting. It's a business as a service platform, as I like to uh, call it. And, and it's really, really a very a very competitive price uh, for for reference when i had a company in spain i was paying more than 250 every month i just to have the accounting like very manually very uh, with a lot of hustle and our prices start from 79 euros uh, plus vat which is amazing remarkable given what you get Thank you, Ignacio. Uh, that was uh, the key number five. So uh, let's talk about now about some of the advantages that uh, maybe are not well known in general, uh, as for example, uh, deductible expenses and the community of key residents and uh, accelerators in Estonia. Yeah, well, 
the 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 um, what I mentioned before about the Ferrari and the bike, even though I'm more a bike guy than a car guy, I don't have a car, but I have a bike. Uh, but the idea is that you can do a lot, a lot more with a company. And one of the things that uh, you can do with company, which is very cool, is, uh, as I mentioned, this tailor especially to people who are global and, and are location independent. So they travel. These kind of entrepreneurs travel a lot. So with Companio, you can have like all these travels. If you travel to uh, attend a summit somewhere or to visit a customer in another country, uh, you can uh deduct not only that the all these expenses but also accommodation travels etc but also you have a daily allowance if you're a, a member of the board of the company uh, for your daily expenses during the trip um and i like to mention this also like truly digital business you can manage it completely online i i've heard that you friends for example in my home country in spain you can have a company and manage it online in spain that's not true. Uh, with Companio, you can really manage your business from the very beginning completely online. So uh, what Miguel mentioned about the e-residence community is also true. Uh, the e-residency pro program has attracted a lot of entrepreneurs with vibrant ideas. It's an amazing community with people from different countries, different cultures. And all of them have these crazy ideas about doing new businesses and very technological stuff. And, and it's amazing. So uh, you, by becoming an e-resident and opening your company with company, you get access to this incredible and vibrant community of, of entrepreneurs. And not only that, but Estonia is a very open country uh, when it comes to uh, business. So uh, there is this huge community of incubators, accelerators, and investors there that will be totally happy to deal with your company just as if it was like a, <laughs> if you were Estonians and were living in Estonia. So it gives you access to all these sources of funding too, if you are looking for them. Awesome. Uh, thank you very much, Ignatius. So uh, that was it. Now we can start the Q&A. So if anyone has any question, please let us know on the chat and you can ask directly on the chat or live. Uh, uh, you can enable your uh, your microphone and camera if you want to, and you can ask back here to Ignacio, uh, to Jonathan, who is also here, uh, or, or to me. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I will I will recommend to download our PDF guide where we explain all these topics in depth. Uh, so let's start. Let's start with the questions. Anyone? Uh, please let me know in the chat, and I will enable your microphone so you can ask your questions. Yes. Uh, I <laughs> Uh, cut there, uh, going <laughs> left to right, right to left on this on the screen. We have a in our team. We have two teams, cat team and dog team. So there are people who have cats and some people who have dogs, and they're always fighting against each other to see who wins. Uh, David has this question. Uh, I want to set up a company in Estonia with my brother. We both live in Spain and we want to continue living here. We are web developers and we do not want our company to have offices. With these conditions, could we have problems with Spain? So first, uh, I would recommend you to join our webinar in Spanish, can you like one hour from now? Uh, during that webinar, you will have the opportunity to ask our um, Spanish uh, tax advisor in Companio, which is Pablo. And, uh, but maybe you can you want to answer this question, Ignacio. Yeah, well, there is no issue if you have uh, being residents in Spain, if you have a, a business in Estonia, that's perfectly legal. And there is uh, actually a, a consult, uh, a query to the, to the tax office that was uh, that really um, declared that 
Uh, but you can learn more about that in, in the next webinar, as Miguel mentioned, in the Spanish one. But yeah, there is no issue. Uh, you don't have offices, you don't have uh, employees there, so you don't have a permanent establishment, which will which will be probably the problematic situation. It's of course you need to kind of consult your case with a local tax advisor or in Spain, or actually I recommend you to consult it with our Pablo, which is our uh, tax advisor. He knows everything about your specific case. So you can ask for a consulting session with him. But if you manage to, your activities online, you don't have a permanent establishment, you are location independent. Even if you are from Spain, there's no issue with that. Uh, thank you, Ignacio. Next question from Stella. Uh, does donations are tax reduction? And in company, we don't support donations. Uh, and usually they don't have any kind of, in, in fact, in Estonia, you if you donate money to NGOs, you uh, pay taxes for that unless you are donating to a very, very specific set of uh, NGOs that are listed in, in the, by the government somewhere. So these are like the white listed NGOs and then you can uh, donate for them uh, without kind of paying taxes, but the rest of NGOs Pay taxes, so I don't recommend you to do, to do donations with your Estonian company. Uh, but that said, company does not support donations. Um, and uh, if Stella's company is accepting donations or taking donations. A company should not accept donations, and that's an activity that we don't support either. Great, thank you. Uh, thank you both, uh, Jesus. Uh, is just informing us that he received an email for the Spanish session. Apparently, the link was broken. That's true, uh, Jesus. And that's why we sent another email with the right link. But anyway, uh, Jonathan just placed sure. the link here on the chat. So you can just go there. Yeah, thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. Uh, any question? That was quick. <laughs> Usually, people are. I guess uh, most of uh, most of you have uh, watched our uh, previous uh, webinars or courses. So I guess there's less and less question. Everything is more clear uh, every month. Okay, uh, so we, if you don't have any question, we will leave it here. Uh, thank you very much, Ignacio. Thank you, Jonathan, and of course, thank you all. Remember, you can always ask uh, to our customer support team through the chat uh, on the website. Um, that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, hopefully, we will see you as a customer uh, of Companio if you decide to start your company with us. Thank you all. Thank you, Ignacio. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.